So I got a new UMX Turbo Timber right out of the box. I already had one, but the ESC just failed on me. So Horizon Hobby is great. They sent me a new one. I got a bunch of flight batteries. I got seven charged here in my DXC transmitter. So I'm going to go ahead and get it all bombed up and do a little evening flight here. Real nice evening. So those of you wondering how to bind it up, oh, let's go ahead and go in here. I gotta select my model. System setup, yes. Model select, UMX Turbo Timber. Go ahead and turn this off. Now we take our flight battery. 2S packs. I like to put it pretty far back in there. The Velcro is not very good. All right. So now we take our transmitter, hold the bind button. Power it up. Binding. Hold it away. Bind failed. I was too close. Right, let's try it again. This time away from it. Wait for the radio to restart. Bind button. Power it on. Bind failed. Hmm. Let's try this again. Try a different. I mean, I doubt that this is going to matter, but hey, maybe it will. Let's try a different flight battery. Bind. There we go. Perfect. Put it down. Let's check the flaps. That's safe. Yep, so we had it in safe. Throttle cut on now. All right. Go ahead and do a hand launch. Oh, let's take the throttle cut is off. Alrighty. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, we got a little bit of wind. We're in safe now. Got nine mile an hour wind. Roll rate on this is this great. Flying upside down. There we go. I only get about four minutes of flight time with these little batteries. Two minutes left on the timer. I think I might have had it still at the factory five minutes.
And there we go. Out of the throttle. Put the flaps on. It's floating. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and change my timer. See, I have it at five minutes. Those batteries don't last for five minutes. Active with a tone. Alright, we're good to go. Back, back. Alright, let's put in a new battery. Alrighty, let's check our control services. Flaps. See if I could take it off right from here. Nope. Too, too rough. Let's go ahead and. Oh man. Took a little nose. Alrighty. Get some power. It's building a little. Yeah, we're climbing a little bit. A little trim down. Whoa. There we go. Who save that? Save! Saved that! Oh, oh, oh. oh man! Got hairy at the end there. But we are okay. We are okay. Man, just at the four minute timer that that went but all right guys little evening flight with the turbo timber umx thing is awesome so much fun so much fun thanks a lot and of course i wind up staying out here and now i'm on my fourth battery getting closer to sunset so i figured why not share it with you guys i mean this thing is just a blast just a blast all right throttle cuts off Pitch it out there. So much fun. If you don't have one, I highly recommend one. Even as a beginner, you know, I started with that Sport Cub S2. And uh, I feel like this is easier to fly with because it's a little quicker and it just handles the wind a little bit better. I mean, we're, what, what did I say, eight, nine mile an hour wind tonight. And with the Sport Cub S2, I think you'd be staying inside. But with this little guy, fighting a little bit, but we're still able to do some fun tricks
Yeah, some of these little batteries though. Alrighty. Into the wind here. Look at it just hover. Some of these batteries, even when they're fully charged, just don't have this. Oh, how about that for a landing? Just don't seem to last. So, I don't know really what that's about, but. Yeah. So that one lasted about two minutes. But, still a ton of fun. Visibility's down. So I'm really running these batteries down when you hit that low voltage cutoff there. I mean, I probably charged them about five days ago, four days ago. So they could have lost a little. Maybe they don't really hold on to the charge that well. Let's see if we can get one more. One more of these little guys. So apparently this field that I'm at is a county park and they close at 8 p.m. So and now it's 8.20. So it's just a little past their closing time, but they were super cool about it. Um, I didn't realize that this field was part of the parks system, which closes at 8. So but hey, got in four batteries, was about to do fifth battery, flew great, didn't run into any issues. Um, yeah, those 280 milliamp hour batteries, I don't know what it is. You know, inside the manual it says set your timer for five minutes. You know, I mean, I charged them a few days ago. I was averaging probably about four minutes per charge. So, um, you know, not not the best to kind of limit the fun a little bit, I guess, those batteries. But, and you could probably fit a way bigger battery pack in there. That's only the recommended. But anyway, you know, so you get about four minutes per battery, but super, you know, aerobatic, that little plane. I'm by no means a good pilot at all. But I mean, I was able to figure out how to do rolls, loops, fly upside down pretty easily. And I was trying to do uh, some knife edge at the end there, but um, which I think you could do with this plane. It seems like it might be able to. I don't know, you know, maybe on a less windy day, it would have been a little bit easy easier to do but uh i gotta say the um umx timber uh definitely recommend it to anybody who's looking to getting into flight i mean if you buy that in a dx60 or a dx6 you could bind and fly to any of the other planes so i i think it's really a way to go it's super easy to fly that plane i mean literally put the throttle up toss it and if you're in safe mode it'll just keep it nice and level and easy to go but I'm about to turn onto a main road leaving the park here so I need to focus on driving but uh thanks a lot for watching everybody have a good night